coach of the 2019 national champions, Ben McCullum. Yeah, I don't know if I looked in the right spot back there. But. First off, I've got to um, apologize to, to John for uh, very rarely returning his texts or emails. Uh, I know he gets on me about it, so I, I try to respond within the week. But um, uh, secondly, would like to follow that up with thanking you for being relentless in your pursuit of, of highlighting small college basketball and, and, and everything that is good about small college basketball. I, I played uh, at a Division II at Northwest Missouri State. I loved my experience. It, it made me the man, father, husband that I am today. And um, we appreciate you highlighting that. Everybody in here um, definitely appreciates it. Probably don't tell you enough, but um, it, it does highlight us and, and what we do for, I guess, the, our communities and, and um, student athletes. Uh, a couple other things I'd like to thank my players. They were the reason that we were good. Like he just said, if you surround yourself with a lot of good people and then you just allow them to do their jobs, that's what I learned at a very young age. And, and I genuinely believe in surrounding myself with as many successful people as we can possibly have. And that's what we did at Northwest Missouri State. That's why we were 38-0. That's why we've had the success we had because of the people that we have in our program. Congrats to the coaches in here as well. Uh, the accomplishment of winning a national title and, and uh, everything that goes with that. Um, obviously, you'll probably look back at some point and, and it's, it's surreal, it's unreal. You probably think you'll never win it again and then somehow, some way, um, a couple years later, we were fortunate enough to do it again. So I'm sure some of you will be right back there, uh, hopefully in a couple years. Um, our first scrimmage, actually, and this kind of goes to a, a thank you to one of the coaches in here, uh, Coach Holly. Uh, our first scrimmage, we, we, we scrimmaged uh, William Jewell. I don't even know if I'm supposed to say that, but we did, so whatever. Uh, we scrimmaged uh, Coach Holly, and, and I grew up, when, when I first came in the league, we had all these older coaches who just absolutely destroyed me. Um, I think I was 12 and 15 my first year. Actually, our second year, we got worse. We were 10 and 16. And it was all from coaches that had 30 to 40 years of experience, or it felt like it, um, you know, some probably 20. Uh, but they were all excellent coaches. Coach Holly uh, always liked to scrimmage us and, and play us, and partly so that he could beat up on us. Uh, but we were we scrimmaged them. I think it was probably four or five days in, and he had a really good team coming back, and they played extremely fast. And I, I, we don't keep score specifically so that he can't run around and brag about beating us. Uh, but I, I think they did beat us. We got done with the game, and. Uh, I, we had started two freshmen and, and a sophomore and, and some younger guys that had no experience because we had lost four from our previous year. We got done. I went back up with my uh, assistant, Zach Schneider, and uh, we sat there and said, this might be a long year. I got done. I got home to my wife, and I said, uh, Michelle, this is going to be one of those years. I don't know if you remember them, but that was the 12 and 15, 10 and 16 type of years, Michelle. That's going to be this. And... Um, Fortunately, he exposed a lot of things that we were doing poorly. We got a little bit better in our second scrimmage, a lot better in our third scrimmage. And, and again, um, so I want to make sure that I thank Coach Holly for, for kicking my butt for me for the, however many times that he's done that. Um, you know, when you win a national title, and, and even this season, you, you get done and it's, it's exciting. But as a coach you look around and it's like, this is supposed to feel more euphoric than it does. And part of that is the process approach that you take throughout the whole season. Um, it, well, most of that is. The other part of that is the reason that most national championship coaches and I think all national championships coaches get into the profession. The number one objective of, of being a coach is to make sure that kids are successful after they leave your institution. And for us, 38-0 is, is obviously fantastic, and, and even the national championship that we won before, the 105 and all the, the records and accolades and whatnot. But the thing that, that makes me happy and brings me joy and helps me know that I'm doing my job is seeing kids graduate, seeing them become 
some fathers, um, seeing them become good citizens, seeing what kind of men they become. That's our number one objective in our program and, and always has been and, and always will be. When you have a team like we had where you started the, the two freshmen and, and then, you know, youthful guys and guys that essentially weren't totally believed in, um, it's fun to see what you bring to a community and how much they enjoy watching your team play. And for everybody that's won a national title, uh, I think the, the understanding of, of, you know, some of the older people from your community, some of the people um, that watch you on TV, the joy that you bring them through athletics is, is another reason why we coach. Lastly, I think one person spoke on it. And I heard Bo Ryan say this, if you win a national championship or you win at a high level and you gain a platform, it's important to know that, that you make sure that you use that platform to make other people's lives better. And hopefully every national championship coach in here will do that. Hopefully every coach does that, uh, but in particular ones that now have a platform. Make sure that you use that to make your community, other people's lives better um, throughout. Thanks again, uh, John, and Small College Basketball, and uh, everybody that showed up tonight.